Okay, modeler. So today we're going to do a bit of a review on uh, on this car. I'm just zoom the camera in a little bit so you'll get a bit better idea what we're looking at here. This is one of the new first ones that are coming out, uh, the '67 Dodge Coronet, and this is just a beast of a machine. I just love the look of this thing. It's just long and sleek, and yeah, I just. I'm I'm not a big car builder, but I've got to say that there are some beautiful ones that just grab me. This this is one of the ones that just grab me. Um, I got this from my mate at the local model shop here. I've, I've put him on a couple of my other videos. Um, I'll just pull his card up here. There it is. Okay, and I'll try and get the camera to zoom on this for you. Okay, so that's the guy there. That's his details. Shane, the scale of autos. Um, really nice guy to deal with. Um, gave it to me at a really good price. I, I just can't remember off my head what it was. I think it was about 50, just over 50 dollars or something. Um, but you know, I mean, anywhere else I, I picked it up, it was it was more than that, much more than that. Um, I, I think that's the price. Actually, no, I think it might have been just a little bit less than 50. But anyway, um, give the guy a call if you're interested in this sort of thing. Give him a call. He's got quite a few of the first cars in there, and they're all outstanding. They're all beautiful looking machines. Um, I mean, you know, check out the internet for the first um, Rebel first cars. There's some beautiful machines there. So yeah, I was lucky enough to pick this one up up with my mate for a good price, um, and we'll go through and have a bit of a look at it. Now, as you can see on the side of the box here, we've got some photos of one built up. And I love the colour of that. Um, I've been looking for that colour, but I've sort of I found a couple of colours that I like just as much as that as well. One of them is one of the ones that changes colour as well. It's a dark green into a purple colour. Uh, so I may end up going with that rather than the, the beautiful green that's on here, but I do love the green on here as well. But as you see, they're, they're a typical car box, nice big square flat box. The first thing we got here is the car body itself. And as you see, the profile on that, absolutely beautiful. It's an absolutely beautiful machine. Uh, really nicely moulded too. These are, these are newer moulds, they're not like the old AMT ones. Um, with great big chunks of plastic hanging off and these ones here are quite nice. I mean there's a little bit of clean up to do around the sills and things like that but not a lot. Really minor little bit of flashing there but honestly that's just a beautiful body. Really really nice. As you can see it's got the you know the, all the indentations and everything that are supposed to be part of the body they're all in there. The, the fuel cap all that sort of stuff. Really really nice stuff. Um, so then the next one we've got our, our instructions here. A little bit about the, the vehicle itself there. Then we got all these um, part names all called out. And this thing's got a full engine, and as you see, you can put your engine together. Um, some really nice detail on it. It's not just a standard block. Um, it's got some nice detail added to it. Um, I mean, you can put wiring and stuff like that on it as well to do it even more. Um, car instructions, don't expect them to be like military stuff, guys. They are fairly basic. Uh, but there's as much work in these, if not more, than there is in putting a tank or an aircraft together. There's a lot of work in doing cars to do them properly. Uh, a bit of clear stuff going in. Normally the clear stuff goes in way after you've painted the body and assembled it. Normally one of the last things you do on cars. Um, so you've got the firewall going in there, radiator, all that stuff. Then we're starting on our interior here. Interior is one of those things you'll have to sort of look it up uh, as to what colours you want the interior and where you want to you know, fancy it up a little bit with a bit of flocking on the floor for carpet and whatever you want to do. Um, we've got an engine, um, the, the tub going in for the, the interior going in there, exhaust system going on, um, then our rims going together on our tyres, then our suspension and the wheels going on the rig itself and then it would be all the little chrome parts. And we've got bonnet hinges on this one too which is a really nice little touch. A lot of the old AMT stuff and that, you don't actually have proper hinges on them. So if you want to have the bonnet raised up, people actually have to craft their own hinges to put on there. So it's really nice to touch that. Um, then the rest of it's just chrome, door handles, wipers, things like that. And then we've got our decal call out on the back page there. So as you see, fairly basic, but that's what car, car kits are like, guys. Looks very basic and you think, oh yeah, a couple of hours I'll have this together. But honestly, there's a lot of work in doing cars to do them properly. So we have our chrome sprue here. And um, it is very nice. Now, the thing with chrome, quite a few serious car models strip their chrome back and they'll do it in a, a different chrome paint because they think it's it's a bit too thick and ugly looking, the chrome that comes in the pack. But I've got to be honest, this looks actually really nice. This chrome here looks really nice. It's not overdone. Uh, I know some of the old AMT kits are just really thick with chrome. And when I've built them, I have actually stripped them myself and re chromed them. Um, but these look actually really quite nice guys, so I probably won't worry even about stripping these back. They look absolutely beautiful. The bumpers are normally your biggest problem, but the two, the front bumper 
The back bumper looked beautiful and that and the grill is just really fine. The detail is still standing out nicely there. It's not sort of buried in chrome. Okay, we've got the underneath and as you see all the detail is still underneath there. It's not like they've sort of got a bare underneath of the car so there's nothing under it. Now, I know most times the car's going to be like that, you won't see what's underneath there. But honestly, I've seen people do show cars, they put them up in blocks, sitting on mirrors so you can see all the beautiful work underneath. Um, they're done like a real show car. Um, sometimes you'll go to car shows where they actually got the car and they've got mirrors sitting underneath to show you, you know, what's underneath the car as well. So if you want to go that far, it's all there for you to do it. Here we've got engine block, some parts of the engines. We've got the interior for our doors. And as you can see, the detail is actually built into there. Really, really nicely done. It's, um, you know, you've got your handles and all that sort of thing which you'll paint separately, but it's all there. It's not like they're just a plain thing with a knob on it. They, um, they actually look the part, so once they're painted up, they will actually pop out. They'll look really nice. Now, as I say, it's up to you what colour you do the interiors. Uh, if you want to try and make this a leather interior, you can. There's tricks to do that. There's a lot of car videos here on YouTube, guys, if you're going to build these things. Um, go and have a look at some of the pros that do them. They do some gorgeous work with interiors. And they'll show you all the trips, tricks to do that. And here's some more interior work. We've got a battery, exhaust. We've got some inserts for the backs of our wheels there. Again, beautiful detail on there. We've actually got a, the panel line engraved around there where the interior of the door is. Um, I can see a bit of flash on some of this stuff. But I do expect this from car kits, guys. They're not like... Um, some of the, you know, like Tamiya kits and stuff like that. But these sort of kits you expect to have a bit of flash and it's not too bad, it's fairly fine and you'll be able to clean it up. And um, honestly, I've seen kits that are much, much worse. These are actually quite nicely molded. As far as car kits go, this is one of my hat goes off to car modelers because there's so much work that you can see the fan there. It doesn't look any like a fan because it's got so much flash on it. But it's not big, thick flash. It'll be easily cleaned off. A um, bit of file and sandpaper and it's gone, but that's the work you have to put into cars, especially if you want to show your engine and things like that. That's the work these guys put into them, um, painting up all the stuff that goes into them as well. Then we have our exhaust systems underneath there. They look quite nice. Obviously, there's a seam line runs up there. Uh, the tips where they come out the back will have to be cleaned up a bit as well. And there's our firewall with all the wiring on it. Um, so really nice detail there. And that's really good too. The, the bonnet, or the hood, as you might call it in Yankee land, um, that has to be, that's really nice, except I have to say, there's injector pin marks there that are a real pain because they're actually on raised detail, so you're going to have to clean those up very, very gently. Uh, it's something I'd probably do with a sharp tip knife and scrape them out, then a little fine sandpaper and clean it out, but you've got all that moulded detail inside there, so when you lift your bonnet to show your engine off, all that detail is going to be in there, which is actually lovely that they've added all that. Very, very nice. Then we've got those beautiful rims. Look at that. They are absolutely outstandingly just gorgeous. I, I love these chrome rims. For some reason on this particular vehicle, I just love the wheels on it. They are absolutely beautiful. That, that chrome, again, look, it's just not too too thick. Like some of the um, older kits that I've built, the chrome works just way overdone. It's that thick. It just kills all the detail. But there. They're actually quite nice, as you can see. Very, very nice indeed. So I won't be worrying about stripping them out. That's the back inserts, which you'll probably want to paint them up as well. And our tyres. Now, we have got a seam running over that one. A big standout flash seam sitting on that one there. And that one, the other two don't look too bad, actually. So there's two of them in there you'll have to clean up a little bit anyway. But they're not too bad for what they are. And here's the other alternatives, and they've got a seam up the middle, um, and you've got your plugs in the part where you actually cut them off the sprue as well. And there's our glass. I don't want to take this out of the packet, guys, because I don't want to um, have these scratching around. I want to keep them in really good condition. I'll probably dip them in the future or something uh, before I put them in the car to clear them up. But um, to be honest, they, they're actually nicely molded. I'm putting my finger on, even under the plastic. I can see that I'm not distorting my finger too much. Um, they're probably a little bit thicker than what you'd expect on aircraft and stuff, but they they are a windshield. So, but again, you know, the, the professional car builders, the guys who really put the time in, they'll put the polish all these down. They'll sand them down and polish them down so that they look beautiful. Um, so if you want to put the time in, you can do it. 
Um, and here's our seats, our bucket seats, and the floor pan, the back seat, dash. And as you can see, the dash got some beautiful detail moulded in there, the radio, the gauges, all that sort of thing, all the buttons, very nicely moulded in there. Steering wheel's got a bit of flash on it, which will have to be cleaned up. Uh, it's not terrible, um, it's just a little bit of fine stuff you'll have to take out of there. Uh, radiator looks quite nice, the, the fan housing looks nice on there as well. And their bucket seats, when they go together, they'll be quite nice as well. A little bit of flash on them, they're not too bad. They're actually quite nicely moulded. Um, so once they're painted up in their leather colours and that, they'll be actually quite nice, guys. And then we've got our decals on here. Okay, so that's the big one that goes right over the back of the car, right over the... the um, the boot, the boot lid and so on, and we've got um, number plates, you can have a variety of those on there, the first one's all another license plate there, um, and a few other advertising badges on there, we've got some gauges for a dash to put in as well, um, but they look, I can't see any um, carrier film around them, they're actually, there's just a really fine slither of carrier, carrier film around the edges and they're not, they're not too bad at all, I can feel a little bit of a step up in them so they are a little bit thick, uh, but with cars, you'll find a lot of people actually put a clear, they put these on, then put another clear coat over and then polish that back and these that actually settles them into the paintwork so they don't stand out. Uh, it's very important on cars if you want a showroom finish, you've got to do that sort of work. And that's why I say my hat goes off these guys, they do a whole different style of modelling to what we do as military modellers and that. And it's a whole different skill set and um, some of the guys are just outstanding at what they do. It's a real time and patience thing, polishing and sanding and that. But you see the results that they get, it's definitely worth the time. Okay guys, that's about all I can show you in this box of goodies. But um, I'm going to try and get this one done within the next six months. I've got a few other, well you know from the reviews, kit reviews like that. I've got a bit of a backlog going on at the moment. Um, so, But in the six, next six months I really hope to get this one done. Um, and show you how I do um, finishes on cars and stuff like that. Um, I do have a truck over there that I'm halfway through doing as well, which I'll put up a video over that the Super Boss, um, which is similar to doing cars, but a little bit different. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Go down there, hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you want to check out my other videos and you want to sub to the channel, there's a big sub button down there. Uh, all my other links are down there too, guys, to Facebook, Patreon, um, places you can buy this kit and stuff like that. So check all those out, all the links are down there. But as always, guys, thanks very much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.